Body count matters 1000% on both ends though. This idea that it doesn't matter is ridiculous on both ends. Spiritually, it's like you're taking on the soul of someone else. You're taking on the DNA of someone else, especially if it's unprotected. So on both sides, right? I don't think it's worse or anything worse on either side spiritually, right? One of the seven deadliest sins is don't lust. Well, for guys, our testosterone is booming and that's what we do. We lust and we go chasing after women like a conquer quest. How many of these chicks can we take down? And we put the little notches on our belt, not realizing the hurt we're causing ourselves because we don't know who she laid down with. If she laid down with 50 dudes, you just took on all that DNA because the DNA will stay inside the woman. So, so body count matters on both sides. We live in a world today where people are just out here having senseless intercourse. There's no love involved. There's no connection. There's no companionship. Women are getting pregnant, uh, having abortions. Some women are having the babies and the dudes are running off on them. Some dudes don't raise, some dudes are raising babies and they find out eight, nine, 10, 11 years later, the baby isn't theirs. Some, some of the women was only messing with that dude and he got her pregnant and dipped. And now you have a deadbeat dad. I think the the powers that be have done an excellent job of of making sex cool. Like, I mean, it's it's cool, but I mean, like, just senselessly, like they're making it so like there's no intimacy with it. We just fuck it. Like, no, there has to be a connection, some companionship, right? It's it should be used for healing, like more than just getting a nut off. Like, that's not what it's supposed to be about. But that's what we've been trained. All the the WAP songs and, and the rap music now. Back in the day, R&B and, and the music had imagination. Like, girl, I want to get you between the sheets and all that shit. Now it's like, I want to fuck now. Put my in your throat, blah, blah, blah. WAP, wet ass, credit card on his note. Like, bro. And then our little babies are seeing, not my babies, because they ain't, they ain't even allowed to listen to rap or none of that shit. But most little kids... Whose, whose parents have them being raised by reality TV, rap music, maybe the dad's not around to set that discipline, whatever the case may be, it, it's rubbing off on the younger generation to where I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried that young men don't hold the door open for old women no more. That'll make you a sucker. It makes you a man. Like, dudes don't give a fuck about females no more. Females don't give a fuck about dudes. Well, I'm under the impression that it kind of takes both of us to keep life going. Men need women and women need men. This idea that now men can hang out and not have no drama and be cool with minimal amount of resources and we gonna work together, figure it out. Most women can't sit in a group and with minimal resources and figure it out. However, wh what the fuck we gonna do here with no women? All these super dudes out here talking about this and this and that and the modern woman and that and that and that. A lot of that shit is true, but at the end of the day, you're still fucking on those modern women. You're still taking them home and putting them in your bed because you don't think body count matters for you. But it does. Fellas, stop shaming the women over the body count. When you're a whore too, men could be whores. I know man whores. that They're addicted to sex. Like, bro, this is not a diss on men or women. It's a diss on the people that use what they're doing for their own personal gain versus thinking about the entire outcome. If there was if there was less senseless intercourse, there would be less abortions, there would be less de uh, babies born without both parents, but no one thinks about, they're not far-sighted, they're short-sighted. The wind blows, their shit gets hard, they wanna take something down, not thinking about the responsibilities. So at the end of the day, body count definitely matters on both parties. Right. And I do believe that when you grow as a man, when you grow and your intent is to not take down whatever comes across and your intent is to not just smash whatever. And you trying to have some solid if it comes cool. And if not, you just live your life and live in your purpose and you're going to be all right. Somebody that's for you will come into your life, but you ain't going to get what you want if you out here still playing stupid ass games like trying to have four, five, six, seven females like, bro, I have a hard enough time dealing with one. I don't know how you more power to you dudes that could 
handle three, four, five females, bro. First of all, I ain't got that much energy no more. <laughs> Secondly, bro, I've been married 10 years and I'm still trying to figure this joint out. I'm still trying to figure, imagine how, trying to figure out four, for, imagine trying to remember five birthdays. Imagine having to remember to call five people on Valentine's Day. That was, I was 17 before. I did all that shit in high school. And you know what I realized at the end of the day? You could go smash that chick, but when you get home and your bed is cold and ain't nobody making you breakfast in the morning, ain't nobody there to share your world with, and you got the money, the cars, and whatever, but your house is a house. It's not a home. You're going to remember all those chicks you smashed, and you're going to call them, but guess what? They ain't answering no more. And you're going to be 40, 50, 60 years old, single man, with all the money in the world, all the fancy cars and everything. And now you really ain't going to be able to find good, a real love because you're going to think that everybody that come across is just trying to use you for what you got. So you, you, are what, you are what you eat. You are what you put out. What goes around comes around. So if you out there as a man hoeing, guess what? You're going to attract whores. But if you out there as a man being solid, doing what you're supposed to do, like you got some lady friends and every, you know, you guys do your thing, but it's not rooted in lust. That's fine. But this whole idea of just dating and smashing all the chicks and that shit's disgusting, bro. As a man, like it's disgusting. Like you got to have more pride in where you put your manhood, fellas. Ladies, you got to have more pride on who you let slide up in you. It's a togetherness. We both got to work together to keep the world going. Women, you need men. We built the roads. We build houses. We, we're builders. You guys are maintainers. We, we're destructive. We're going to build it and, and, and destruct it and tear the shit down and fuck it up. The women are the ones that make the house a home. So I understand both sides. But what I do understand is body count matters. Because you're taking on the soul of those other people. Whoever she smashed, whoever she let off in her, that DNA is sticking around. So when you smash, you're taking on another dude's DNA. It's disgusting when you think about it. It's gross. It's gross. Like, I hear all this, oh, all this shit, man. It's absolutely disgusting. Have more pride about yourself. Have more pride about your genitals. I ain't no regular lover, so ain't no, just ain't no any female could just get, get what I got. But what I'm saying is, that don't matter either. You got to have so much confidence in yourself that you could exude self-control. Like, you don't got to let off in every single thing. You don't have to holler at every single woman that passed. Ladies, so what? You don't got to judge this dude out based on what car he got in. We read in the book by the cover. Yeah, we ain't even reading the back back. We not even reading the back back. We not even reading the back back. The back, you know how you go to the back and it has a description of the book? We ain't even doing that. We're seeing the cover on the book and that's what we're judging it on. So at the very end of the day, body count matters on both sides. It's absolutely disgusting to sleep around. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Stay tuned.